Hello. How y'all doing? Uh, let's uh, check your seeing me and hearing me okay. Hope you're all having an awesome Wednesday so far. Just waiting for the old chats to catch up here. Hello, hello. Um, so yeah, I was reading the chat before the stream started. So you, you all want to see loot boxes? Am I correct in uh, reading that? No. <laughs> Uh, not not any immediate plans with regards to that just now. Um, being able to open the toolboxes would be great. Absolutely, we agree. Um, that will be getting attention in the next update. Fear not. Um, speaking of which, those of you... Uh, <laughs> you troll. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Uh, 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 doing good. Currently playing Duration Zero as of now. Sounds like an excellent decision right there. Um, well, you know, you folks been saying all along that you wanted to have a loot box in the game, so we're, we're going to get loot boxes. <laughs> I'm, I'm just winding up. Um, loot boxes of the buy a thing, random chance of getting a thing, is not on the cards at the moment. But storage boxes to put things in, that's something that we definitely do know that you folks want. Um, your friend is still absent. What did you do? It's not what I did. It's what he did. He had a baby. So he's uh, spending some time with his uh, new kitty. So he, uh, Tree Kiwi was going to be away until September, actually. So... Just me, on my lonesome. I was hoping to get another developer in today, but he's actually uh, had to go and attend to his child as well today. Um, so we'll see next week. Of course, next week being ever closer to our next update. Um, next update, speaking of which, we're going to be giving you some news about that on Friday uh, in our letter from the dev team. So we're going to give you a little peek at what's going to be coming up in this month's update. Um, and again, it's going to be something that you folks are going to like. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be good. Toolboxes are empty because you had to pay to unlock loot. You're giving us ideas here now. No, we're, 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 not, we're not going that route. Fear not. Um, mm -mm. Will there be new weapons? Uh, says Silig Monster on Mixer. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff we want to do with this game. I mean, if you're new to the World Generation Zero, uh, released back in March, and ever since then, we've been working very hard at sort of improving the base game experience. Lots of bug fixing, lots of, sort of general quality of life changes. Uh, we feel that we've made a lot of progress there. Oh, we've made a lot of progress there. Uh, so we will start to see a little bit more in terms of new content and uh, addition to the game as time goes on now. Uh, so we feel we're over the hump of the worst. We know there are still bugs to be fixed, fear not. Um, but you will start to see uh, more of a movement towards more stuff. Oh, stay still. Sorry, bear with me. It's it's so much easier to string with a hunter, because I can just like hide in a bush and the deer don't try and shoot me. Oh, there's a sniper over there. That's not good. I'm going to go and rush the sniper in the face. In the robot face. I'm going to pop off that front armor panel so I can get at his juicy ammo tank. Uh, ammo tank. Fuel tank. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're going to do a quick uh, strategic withdrawal. Numb myself a delicious health pack. Alright. Are you feeling the pump gun strap? No. No update equals dead game. Uh, we've been very uh, consistent with our updates. In fact, ever since uh, launch, we've been doing one large update per month. Uh, that's kind of the, the best frequency for us in terms of giving you an update that means something and has content and the time it actually takes to create the updates. Oh, I need to get some ammo. I'm trying to talk and shoot at the same time here. I am not ninja. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. And yes, next update is going to be this month in August. So it's not far to go. Um, it will be coming your way quite soon. Fear not. Uh -uh. And as a part of this uh, update, 
update from the dev team, a letter from the dev team, we're sending out on Friday. We will be planning to include a survey as well, uh, as another kind of check-in with you folks to see what you feel uh, you'd really like to see in Generation Zero, or what you'd like to see less of. Um, yeah, uh, so we'll be trying to pick your brains to make sure that we are heading in the right direction for what you want to see in the future, so keep an eye open for that. And again, we'll be sharing this update and the survey, <coughs> excuse me, um, on our social media on the Steam Community Hub, you'll see it on the Xbox Social Club. You should join that if you don't already and you play on Xbox. All the places you'd expect to see it. We need merch! You can, you can buy this t-shirt, one careful owner. Um, any news on the console streams? Not just yet, Rooney Place. It's easier for me to do it on PC because I can sort of set things up using our tools, uh, which is why I'm kind of sticking with it for now. Perhaps when my sidekick gets back, I can uh, spend the time to get things set up on console. Uh, with PC, we can kind of do some tinkering to try and get me in a good place to stream from. But console, I just have to kind of play it through to the point I want to stream from, because it's a bit trickier. Sold, it's mine now. Take it off. I didn't tell you how much it was going to cost today. Um, mm -mm. And indeed, bikes are in the game. Kinky Binky, if you have missed that, they've been in the game for uh, over a month now. So if you like bikes check them out. You'll probably see me use one in the stream once I get to the next safe house. Uh, that was, of course, a very popular request from the community, so we made it happen. And hopefully we're going to see a lot more of that going forward now. Again, now the worst of the bugs are kind of behind us. Um, we should start seeing more of the, your direct wants and wishes coming to the game. Can we donate to the developers? I can give you my PayPal account. If <laughs> No, uh, we don't need donations. Uh, you being here, interacting with us, giving us your feedback on the game, that's all we could hope for. You've already purchased it, we don't need anything more from you, just uh, keep on enjoying it really. Are you a maker of the game? Uh, asks Ethan on YouTube. I am a community manager for Generation Zero, this is the G Generation Zero's official uh, YouTube channel you'd be watching on right now. Don't miss the fact you're out of ammo, yes, good catch. I'm very easily distracted when I'm talking to the chat and I'm like doing two things badly. <laughs> Uh, where are we? 32 ACP. Give me them bullets. Good catch. Thank you. Right, this is a military pass. Let's we'll see if it has any, any goodies in it. Just just the radio. Um, I haven't actually played through from the beginning for quite some time, so... This is quite interesting for me, because um, I tend to sort of dive in and out different bits, depending on what we're doing. Uh, I already have a bajillion field radios. So this is quite interesting for me seeing the, the new start island from a player perspective once more. Military oh that's a that's a swanky cap. I might actually uh go straight straight to that. Although I, I like my look already. I like the look. Um mm -mm. Uh, speaking of merch by the way, those who won a t-shirt in the stream last week, I you should have received a Steam invitation from me. Please just pop me a message on Steam uh, when you're ready to talk, and I can go about getting your address details and that kind of jazz. You bet you're two Bigfoot shirts. Uh, we have shirts up to quadruple XL, I think. So we look after all, all shapes and sizes of fans. Hold up, this doesn't look like YouTube. Uh, Dr. Dingus, I'm currently talking to YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch. Oh, and Facebook. Um... So I'm streaming in uh, multiple places right now, which is why I do try and uh, sort of say who's talking from where when I uh, answer questions, etc. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty. Um, mm -mm -mm. I'd like some... Oh, I got some 9 mil ammo for my clouk. Uh, I'll stick with a trusty uh, Muller on the start island. It does the job. Right, what, what was it I'm up to now, though? I've uh, done this one. Oh, my mission. Home team. Locate Veslan. So, those of you who haven't played Generation Zero before, it's always good to uh, check your log. You can see exactly where you want to be going. So, you tend to get clues. We're not all about 
giving you a big pointy arrow to chase in a lot of cases, although generally when you get closer to stuff, it will help you in that respect. But we like to give you the means to find out yourself where you want to go. So in this case, I picked up a map, and it's telling me where the cunningly hidden Vassalam bunker is going to be. So I will go there. Those of you who have been following us for a while would have probably seen this before. Um, but yeah, we're looking ahead over this way. Has a four-star Glock uses uh, two-star Muller. Well, again, it's the start island, so I'm going to ration myself and use the good stuff a bit later. Trying to make the game more popular by streaming a lot? Well, thank you, Ethan Hunter. It's always nice to tune in and watch your folks' streams. I do try and watch them when I can. Uh, is there going to be any buyable merch soon? No immediate plans. Um, merch is actually quite an involved activity to get into as a studio. Um, but, you know, if folks really want it, maybe we could look into that. These fences are so typical. You see them all around Sweden, like out in the countryside. I don't know what they're called. Mm -hmm. Will there be more enemy types later on when being asked on Mixer? Um, it would make sense. Uh, as time goes on, we bring in more enemy types. Maybe you could see upgraded versions of the existing ones. Maybe you could see entirely new machines, and, uh, which are completely new and different. Um, Absolutely, that kind of thing. You would it would make sense that you would see in the game at some point or another. Okay, we got some uh, run runners around this beacon. No spoilers, please. Uh, I will, we'll try to keep this spoiler free, which is why we don't do try to stick around the the main. Uh, the, the beginning areas mostly. When we start to go into the later areas on stream, you'll notice we tend to avoid story stuff and just go on machine destroying missions. Mainly due to the fact we don't want to spoil things overly for folks. What have we got over there? Is that. Is that. I can't quite work it out. Is it a runner stood on there? Or is it a, a runner cosplaying as a hunter? It's hard to see in the smoke. I think it's a runner. Yep. I th wasn't sure if it was the shoulder of a hunter and I get a nasty surprise. <laughs> Terrible shooting. Oh, it's got a friend. Owie! Don't stay up close to those shotgun runners. They will hurt you. Glad I got him before he got me, because again, he had a shotgun, which would have been nasty. You can stop calling friends over. Oh, I made a huge mistake. I shot his weapon off, so now he's going to come up and charge me. Okay, one more to go down here. Crossbow, 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 crossbow would be tons of fun. Uh, or uh, normal, normal bows. I, I like to do archery in my free time, so I I'd be all on team bow. Put it that way. Ooh, sort of nice vision augmentation. Bird shop. Yeah, it's good. It's good for the light to arm stuff. The dark landmass to the far north of the map, will it open in a future update? I mean, the kind of things you would expect to potentially see in this kind of game would be, you know, more enemy types, more weaponry, perhaps expansions to the map itself. So I, I'd hazard a guess that it could be a good possibility as development continues that we might look to expand on the areas. Will you? Oh, just... Okay, this, this might be a terrible decision. Didn't hurt. We're all good. Get that sweet XP. Uh, I don't need a field radio right now. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking up the chat here. The fence is called Yes Gord. Oh, sorry, Yes Gerd. I missed, I missed that. It's scored out. Uh, of course, what a double barrel. Double barrel shot going to be quite neat. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess, particularly in the UK, I know we tend to use those more than pump guns. More, more, more likely to find one of those in a farmer's shed. Will you guys add more to the main story later? 
in a DLC or update, we really want to know more about you know. Good job there, uh, Sakarias on YouTube. Staying away from the spoilers. Um, it would make sense, as, again, if we were to do future updates, we might want to expand on the story that you've been told so far. Um, I'd say that was a good bet as development continues in the future. Any news about the update for this month? Robert's asking on YouTube. Um, I said at the start of the stream, there's going to be a letter from the team going out on Friday, which is it's going to be a small update, giving you uh, some info about what's coming up uh, in the August update. Um, it's going to be a nice feature for you folks, put it that way. And also as a part of that letter from the dev team, we will be including a survey. So we want to get some feedback on you folks to see, you know, after a few months of post-launch development, how do you feel things are? What would you like to see more of? What do you like to see less of? Uh, what entirely new stuff might you want to see? So just a check-in from us to get your feedback and uh, uh, yeah, help you folks impact the development of the game. Okay, um, am I out of 32? Looks like we're going to have to dust off the clock after all. Cat robots. <laughs> Artillery. Wow. I mean, the tanks do a good job with their missiles as it is. Will you bust to the Panzerwehrgewehr 90 or the Granatgewehr M49? I mean, both of those weapons, um, good accuracy will reward you. Put it that way. Uh, if you're getting solid hits on component areas on machines, they're going to do the job. But, that being said, I have been logging feedback from your folks that you do feel they could have a bit more punch. I mean, the primary benefit over the 50 cal rifle, for example, is the fact it has much higher damage over longer ranges. The drop on it is much lo the drop off of damage is much lower. Um, but then again, of course, folks expect that if you're using a 50 cal, it's going to be like a boomstick that one-shots everything. So, um, yeah, maybe we can tweak. Where are you on the map? As of now, Juan is asking. I'm uh, down here, trying to head up towards Veslan Bunker. I'm going to take the main road down that way. So, and then uh, try and get off the start island at least a bit into the next one. <sighs> Have hybrid combined models an effort to save resources of having to redacted more machines. That would be spooky. You'd see, like, I don't know, a combined runner-hunter kind of hybrid. I don't know how that would look. It'd be like a hunter torso running around on the base of a runner. That'd be pretty neat, actually. Like, repurpose machines. You want a 60 cal? <laughs> All of the cals. Um, drone mothership type machine thing? Why not? Desert Eagle, just add Desert Eagle. I mean, a lot of the weaponry you're seeing in game now is uh, weaponry that you... I mean, obviously, it's not accurate. You're not going to find military-grade weapons in people's cupboards. Uh, but most of the most of them are representative of the kind of firearms you'd expect to see in 1980s Sweden. Whether we move away from that as time goes on, who knows? I mean, obviously, there's only a certain pool we can pull from otherwise. But what you're seeing currently is a weapon that could feasibly exist in Sweden, even if it wasn't necessary in someone's, you know, backpack in their bedroom. <laughs> uh, Cold Crafted, I was asked that one about it. I was asked about that earlier. Um, you're, you're saying uh, the rocket launcher or Granada Gewehr, as it's called in the game. Um, again, accuracy is very much rewarded with those, but of course, if folks do think that they are underpowered, you know, in terms of the size in your inventory and all the stuff you have to carve out for them, perhaps we can look at adjustments. Mm -mm -mm. I love the support of the developers in this game. Listen to the players. There are many bugs left, but I'm confident we fixed. Um, I'm glad you feel that way, Bloodwork, and I'm sure the team, rest of the team is as well. Um, oh, going this way. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, we feel like the 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 biggest issues you folks are having. Are behind, are behind us for the most part. We do know there are still some present, though. Again, that disclaimer. <laughs> um, for example, all the main mission issues have, for the most part, been resolved. Uh, side missions will get some attention now in the August update. Uh, surgical. But yeah, um, we're, we're glad you appreciate all the extra work we're putting into this, and there's no signs of us stopping that in the near future, put it that way. Oh! 
shoe. We will not be calling in buddies. Oh, I hear. Oh, 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 oh. Give me all your bullets, please. I mean, for example, do you remember in the olden days when you couldn't loot these boxes here? <laughs> um, yeah, we I mean, we've been making lots of incremental improvements over time. Nice. Got some fuel tanks and start laying some traps. I love that the game looks like a postcard picture. That's how Sweden looks. It is like one big postcard picture. It, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not a native Swede, although I am now a citizen. Um... It is a beautiful place. Uh, uh, got one of those ready. Leave that. Uh, it is a beautiful place, and it's quite fun speaking to Swedish people who have been playing the game. Uh, they're like, oh, you know, this reminds me of when I grew up, and uh, I really feel the team did a great job of capturing that authentic uh, Swedish feeling. Okay, nothing in here. If you add futuristic weapons, it could play into new DLC or story. They might be able to be made to look like retro futuristic, because the arm development is another part of machine science. Alex Bear on Facebook. Um, yeah, I mean, that would be a great idea. That would be a logical way of going about doing it. You know, obviously, you'd want to try and uh, make it make sense within the story, and I think that would be a good way of explaining it. Offers abandoned notebook. Lost contact with the platoon. My key card no longer working, but some machines have the big gates of force. and must have some passage barcodes off their own. So these kind of uh, breadcrumbs, little like clues around, will kind of tell you what it is you need to be doing. Um, so I obviously just picked up a key code off this little fella here. Um, where are we? Nothing in that one. Just checking out for goodies here. What about the ammunition? Nice, more 9mm FMJ, we like that. Gas tank, good, good. That'll be a blast. See what I did there? Bobby pin. And some specs, nice. Hmm, do I have specs on already? This is this is an important question. Oh, I got my sunglasses on. This game is really addicting, says Daniel Herberry. Nice to hear, Daniel, glad you like it. More trigger traps to secure an area. That'd be pretty neat. Improvised, uh, like, wire traps or something. Any plan of implementing crafting? Asked David on Facebook. There's tons of stuff we want to implement now. I mean, again, a, a lot of this focus the past few months has been on improving the base game for what we have now. But all of that work has set us up in good stead because now we can uh, start to take some time to add more feature-related stuff. Oh, actually, um, is this a functioning one? It is. Um, so, someone was saying, do we have bikes yet? So yes, we do have bikes. This is the uh, cleverly named Sickle. Oh, excuse me, I'm doing a, a bike show and tell right now. Do you mind? That's what you get. Oh, that one doesn't get it. Oh, it's like a loot delivery there. That's how rude. I was just trying to show you the nice bike, and then I get jumped by uh, evil runners. But then again, it's good there because I need to get into the bunker. <laughs> Kinky Winky, that was you. Okay, so this is the Sickle. Stylish 1980s style bicycle. Um... So yeah, you can pedal it around to your heart's content. Although it's not a mountain bike, so try and keep to roads and pathways. Although, who knows, maybe mountain bikes or dirt bike BMXs could make an appearance in the future. Uh, this is like your typical, you know, granny going to the shops kind of bike. Okay, I'm going to have to try and do a high speed pursuit with these. <laughs> I'm just doing this for the giggles. This is uh, probably not a winning strategy here. <laughs> ding ding. Okay. Do I have a.
Come to me. Maybe if I throw this flare here. Oh, I threw, I forgot. <laughs> I tricked the increased grenade throwing skill just before the stream. So now, uh, oh, I unleashed the beast. It's okay because he's going after. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The flare ran off. Ran out. That's a whole lot of. Okay, that did some did some damage. This is like Woodstock <laughs> for, for runners. There's tons of them. I need to get rid of these things. They're obviously calling them in on me, so. Ha! Oh jeez, is it? Sorry folks, I'll get right back to the chat in a second. It's all got a bit intense here. Just want to get that fuel tank on the top there. Whew! Seekers always call in more enforcements. That they do. They they may seem, you know, unassuming and not terribly scared. Not incredibly scary because they don't have guns themselves but they are effective because they bring guns to them um yeah always good to try and take those out soon low oh we can take one of those lots of sweet sweet ammunition though do recommend the uh, increased ammo perk it's really great for uh whoa where did you come running in from came from the back over there Okay, I'm going to get inside the bunker in a second now. I think I've got most of the goodies. Yeah, all good. Okay, let's get inside here and I can uh, continue asking, answering your questions. Knock, knock. Okay. Bike Chantel, how about machine ambushes to lure players in? Like some tasty loot left for the players to find the machines and come at you? Sneaky. That would be quite fun. All I can see is the stone in this moment. Experience! Yes, lots of that sweet, sweet XP. Um, try playing with a friend and try to kill a tank with a bike. What a good time it was. I could see that could be amusing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 1950 ASKSP 50 the machine guns still used today. That would be a good suggestion for a weapon. Mm. By the way, good shooting on them doggos. <laughs> Indeed, thank you. Um, running into a fleet of 8 to 10 seekers in the mountain region can be bad for your health. I can see how that could be, yes. Um, have you played the whole game? I have indeed, yes. On a streaming level though, Mostly I do bits and pieces here and there, mainly because I'm always playing on different saves at different times. Um, so we have, we were doing a start to finish playthrough. Oh, that was on Matt's account, though, who was, of course, away for uh, Daddy Leaf. So I'm really playing just through now as more as background. Whoa! I should have paid attention to talking away. Terrible shooting, too. Um, more as background for you folks to watch some gameplay whilst I'm talking and answering your questions. I mean... Oh! So we don't want to show too much a lot of time, because a lot of folks do appreciate the twists and turns and the story and whatnot, so... Ooh, hunting rifle silence. I just need to find the hunting rifle. I did skip the side mission, which gives you one. Because I had the, uh... Sneaky dev-given, uh, 50 cal at the time. Neglecting to think, of course, that it's going to be very unlikely to find ammunition for that in the starting region. <laughs> I can hear a seeker doing its ping. Oh, stop that! Where are you? Oh, you're upstairs. Okay, it's upstairs. Ignore that. That's something we're looking at as well, in terms of how the machines sense you when you're underground. The, s the machines often are equipped with um, like modules that allow them to see through certain objects or depending on what they're equipped with. So that is intended, but maybe when you're in a bunker it would make sense that they do. Okay, 
this runner here bust me or not. We're taking weapons at the time, the age of 90 was not introduced in 1990, and assume that's the 50 cal. Um, this is kind of set in 1989, so for all we know, we had an experimental version of it, or, uh, yeah. I mean, we're not meant to be a Sweden simulator, put it this way. We would have to take some artistic license to add an interesting uh, spread of weapons. Oh, this has a shotgun. That's not good. That smoke is giving me issues here. Can I get a sneaky shot? No. Just gone back behind the fence. Oh! Oh! That's clever. Whew. That's the last thing you want a shotgun runner doing at you, which is its jump. Takes you into close range and then you get risk of uh, shotgun to the face as a follow-up. Freaked me out so much when I saw it first saw a tick. They still freak me out. Uh, nobody expects the ticks. <laughs> Ever had a large group of hunters chase you down after hacking them and getting spotted by running away? Hands down the scariest moment behind this game. Yeah, a pack of uh, roaming or chasing hunters is always a scary thing. Will there be melee we're being asked on Mixer? Um, melee is a suggestion that a lot of folks have given to us, so that's a potential thing we can look at. How about for gameplay stream, having a camp with all the story bits finished and have background noise, simple exploration fighting. I could do that Pufty, but at the same time, you know, people viewing for the first time, we want them to realize that there is more than just roaming shooting. There is a story. Um, a mission, rather. Oh, that was lucky. Almost got jumped on. Oh, I hit ticks. Oof! Maybe I gave that too much ammunition there. Ah! Oh, you had a friend! Where is he? That's many friends! Stop it! Leave me alone! What we would what were we just saying about ticks? Hang on. This is the way I came. Where is it? These bunkers that are a maze. Which is good. I like that because they would be. Another bobby pin and a sweet hat. No shower rooms. But do they have a sauna? They must have. If, if not, that's a game breaking issue and I demand it be rectified, devs who are watching. <laughs> right, I think this is the back door. Now I've got my bearings, I know where I am. Nice health pack, we like those. If I'm hit by a tick, can I get lime? No, I don't think they're carrying that. That's that's okay. No biological weaponry. Is it going to be reloading while sprinting? Um, I mean, it would make a good perk, wouldn't it? Perhaps. In fact, do we not have that as a perk? I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. We have so many. <laughs> Come fist the bunk with the gas, I think it is. You should look at those big green boxes they have ammo they have kits if ammo boxes them. Yes. That is correct. We also have ticks in here. What about base building? Um some folks, you know, have given us feedback they'd love to see it. Other folks have said they would not like to see it. Um so maybe it's something we could consider, depending on what folks want to see, really. Again, we'll be a survey out on Friday where we'll be asking you just that type of thing. You know, what would you like to see in Generation Zero? Obviously, base building is a very big feature and a sort of quite a fundamental change from what the game is. Um, you know, we don't want to change the, the genre of the game that folks have bought, put it that way. <laughs> but at the same time, we'd like to give you new things to play with. So, yeah, who knows? We'll see what, see what the future may hold there. Dark clown makeup. Let's uh, see let's see how that looks on, shall we? Face paint. What? Oh, is it's on my eyes? That's why. Yeah. Um. 
I wear. Uh, none. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Leaning option, ability to blind fire. I mean, that was something you expect to see in like, more of a cover shooter game, but again, I mean, the problem is something like that is quite animation intensive. And when you have a small shooter like us, um, that would be a lot of hours of animator time to add. So it's like, do we do that or do we use that animation time on a new machine type, for example? So these are all the kind of things that we as devs think about when getting feedback. Um, we get sneak peek of things we can expect in the letter. Uh, the letter that's going out Friday will give you some news on what you're expecting to see in the August update. Um, I'm not showing you anything today, but next week's stream, I will try and uh, show you the upcoming changes for August. If I build a high base, we're going to do some base jumping, like uh, Swedish paratroopers. Base building, not entirely, but a warehouse storage, something you can upgrade and work towards, make cozy, have space for guns, ammo. That would be pretty neat, Pufty. So rather than, like, you know, building a house, I don't know, Minecraft style, block by block, or setting up individual fences, maybe you can... I forgot to turn the power on. Derp. Maybe you can instead um, you know, modify your safe house to some extent, decorate them, add small functionalities or something like that. That could be, could be quite cool. There we go. We have some lights, people. That's, that's a hella generator right there. Did I loot this one? Yes, I did. Will there be more clothes with bigger bonuses? I think that would be an interesting way for us to go, yes. I mean, understandably, a lot of the clothing right now, for the most part, is cosmetic. But more bonus-related things could be pretty neat. Ah, I missed the second shot. Come on, me, bro. Ah! Be careful what you wish for, Graham. Nice, getting on that sweet, sweet 9mm ammo. It's actually been a while since I've done this mission, so it's quite interesting sort of re-exploring things again. Um, Well, a new mission, we get a skeleton key to open every Swedish grocery store. Um, I'd like one of those in real life. <laughs> um, you know, more variety of interior, interior sort of for buildings could be something interesting. You know, you've seen the Kunsam shops around. Maybe you'd like to see inside them one day or, um, you know, more variety of internals of buildings. That would be pretty cool to add. Um, Right, let's get to the, the command centrum. Nice. The warboard. We add any live people to interactive. Hello, Alexander. How are you doing? Um, NPCs is something that we've heard you folks would like to see in the game. So it could be potentially something we'd look at. Yes. Um, Depends. Uh, um, pleasantly surprise you, then disappoint you. So we're a little bit uh, reluctant to uh, say hard yeses or hard noes on stream, unless it's something we know we're ready to announce. But uh, that would be pretty cool. Right, I need to make some space for this. Check out Graham the uh, radio hoarder. Uh, let's drop these. I'm doing quite a good job of not dying at the moment, so we can clean some inventory. Eight-man co-op, unlikely Skullcatrons. That would kind of involve changing the base of how our multiplayer code works and the balance, and it would touch so many things. I think it's unlikely we would change that. Hello, Alex. Hope you're doing good. IKEA catalog to furnish our safe houses. That'd be awesome. Love this game so much. Any way to support it beyond playing it and telling everyone how awesome it is? Um, just continue doing what you're doing, really. Um, you know, we... Potentially, we'll look at further DLC in the future. Um, as of now, no plans to announce there just yet. Uh, but otherwise, no, just keep on being a fan. We're happy with that. Um, invincible invincible robots, sorry. New sort of enemy, a big brother hunt. A cloak and only way to see him is by using thermal sight. That would be awesome. Um, <laughs> 
Facial hair to add to my character profile. Do I need a DLC for that? I haven't found anything for face in game so far. Uh, facial hair comes with uh, yeah, the clothing DLC account recently. That being said, there might be more ways for you to get your hands on some facial hair in the future. If someone could tell me how I could get some facial hair, that too would be awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure how to interpret that statement, Kinky Binky. <laughs> Been having a tough time finding more adrenaline shots. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Obviously, that was a bit of a feedback point in the beginning. Um, we've done a lot to resolve that. But if you still think this issue is, we can definitely check it out. Um, so, bug fixing, I tried playing a mission. It wouldn't let me play it. Raul, uh, we've done... Lots of improvements to the main mission storyline. Main mission should be behaving itself now. If it's not, let us know. Uh, but we do know there's some outstanding issues with side missions, which are going to be checked out on um, checked out, which are going to be addressed in a in a lot of cases in our August update, which is coming soon. Uh, uh, will there be storage? We know you folks want to see storage. Not going to happen, Graham. That's not very nice, Alex. <laughs> Talking about my beard or lack of. Uh, we know you folks want to see storage. Uh, stay tuned for news on that. Hush. Thank you. You have to shoot the TVs. It's like the law. I have to shave my beautiful beard to be in the game. Hope we get a DLC so I can get back my precious dude. That's very true, Yaroslav. Um, right, I have to find my way back out of this place now. Uh, it was that way. Follow the trail of wrecked hunters. Runners. Definitely not hunters at this stage. I would have been ruined. I like the stream so far, but I'm going to quit for now because I'm going to stream the game for myself. Okay, Ethan. Enjoy. Have a great stream. Definitely want some model kits in the machines. That would that would be a cool bit of merch. So that was good. Nice. Don't want to ignore all these delicious bullets. Okay. I'm gonna go up there and murder that horrible BP seeker. Sneaky thing. Open sesame. Not playing in a while, but I got fed up. Last patch up there, I experienced all the bot loop was weird. They're carrying medicates and stuff. That's the thing. I'd love for the loop first for logic and reason, personal preference. Hi, David. Oh, it's got dark since I've been in the bunker. Um, I mean, video game logic when it comes to loot is always going to be a bit weird. If you look, like, you know, World of Warcraft, kill a pig, get a magic sword. Um, it kind of has to be just due to the game that the way the games work. Um, otherwise, we'd have to litter the whole terrain with chemists. So, <laughs> I mean, it's a logical place we can find a health pack. Um, but yeah, we do have to take some liberties. Otherwise, the game won't make sense in terms of playing. Um, give me all of your sweet, sweet ammunition. Thank you. The kids in the end of the 80s have point lasers. I, unlikely, I think. I don't know. Um, I don't think that was a thing. I think they came out towards 90s, as I remember it. I can make a RC heli of the Seeker a little time. That I would love to see. I'd actually toyed the idea of doing it myself, actually, with uh, a drone of some description. That would be certainly cool. Right. Let's head check we're going in the right direction. Actually, let, let's take the bicycle. Bicycle. The problem with the bike, and this is a big problem, is the fact it has a bell. Because I can't resist dinging it. <laughs> I need... It's there. I just want to... It's so satisfying ringing that bell as you're cycling along, but it's also a terrible decision because the, it does alert machines to your presence. Uh, we go this way. Yeah. 
looking good. Can we off-road it down here? I think maybe check out these buildings, but it might be enemies down here. Let's. This could be a bad idea. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, it's it's definitely not a BMX bike. Oh, oh. Are these miniature stone hinges made by Smurfs? I, I can't remember what they're called, uh, but I did go. I did actually go hiking to see some of them around Sweden. I cannot remember what the name is called, um, but they are a thing around here. But they are not made by Smurfs, no. <laughs> um. How many ex Easter eggs exist in the game give you a number? I mean, by the very nature of us having Easter eggs, we kind of don't like to, you know, give you numbers as such. This should be something you feel rewarded to and a surprise when you find, rather than us giving away the secrets. Oh, jeez. This thing is literally flying rings around me. I want to get a sight on this thing. There we go. Shoo! Shoo! Okay, is there going to be a tick waiting to jump out of me in here? Do I have my shotgun? Yes, I do. Have a perk that lets you tricks of the bike. Puffy, I want to see a whole, like, Matt Hoffman Pro BMX style mini game around the bikes. <laughs> that would make me happy. I don't know if anyone else remembers those games. Used to play them a bunch when I was younger. Although I prefer Tony Hawk Pro Skater, personally. Um, yeah. I want to see skateboards. I so want to see skateboards. But although, of course, they would have to be absolutely terrible off-road. So, um, I'm not sure that the in-game benefit of a skateboard would be all that. Idea, make an RC car with grenades strapped to it like an RC XD to use as bait for hunters, tanks, and runners. That'd be quite fun. Or is this the 80s, so it have to be like a Tonka truck that you can roll down hills or something. But then you could get RC cars back then, I remember. Just there were, I was always disappointed in how slow they were as a kid. <laughs> like 80s RC cars. So older me bought a petrol one. Skateboards and a trick system. Yes, do this. Screw the consequences. Generation Zero is now the newest Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. Let's make it happen. Okay. Off-roading on the bike. It's not going to be a successful game plan here. They are intended to be more uh, on-road vehicles. Actually, this road... If I persist, I might be able to get up there. Ah, let's just take on foot. Um, we're about give, giving us the option to disable friendly fire. The only friendly fire you should get is from explosives. Um, and that's kind of intended in some respects. Otherwise, you know, you end up with a strat where your buddy just runs in, spams down loads of gas canisters, and you can shoot them with no problems. Um, but yeah, there should be no, there's no bullet-based friendly fire, put it that way. See if the sweet military truck has any goodies for me. Nope. He's obviously on his way back from deliveries. Well, actually, it makes sense. He's facing away from the naval base. It would be nice to see a motorcycle and a new robot such as a giant spider. We've joked about this before. A giant tick that spawns out lots of little ticks. Uh, Tenebri, we mentioned that earlier as a good suggestion. Um, that was almost the exact example I was talking about. Would be pretty, pretty good way of doing things, perhaps. Oh, you'd like to enable friendly fire. Um, I guess that could be something we could look into if folks really wanted to see that. Uh, might suddenly become a PvP game overnight, though. <laughs> suddenly create a four-player battle royale without realizing it. Oh. Oh, no! Whoops. Fat finger, Graham. Like, leaning it on the mouse. Bad decision. Alright, he knows I'm here, but he doesn't know where. Oh, buddy does, though. Oh, he's inside the container. 
Surprise! Oh dear. I want to get me a compensator. Compensate for my lack of skill. Oh! Oh, there's a sneaky seeker coming in here as well. Is that it? No, it's not it. I need to heal then in that case. Okay, it hasn't spotted me though yet. Can we Surprise? Oh jeez, he's got loads of friends with him. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I thought so. I knew what that meant the second I saw it hit the floor. This is where it could become our uh, first first rip of the stream. Hmm. Components from the front and stuff out. Okay, there we go. That almost emptied my lovely AK4. But these will have some nice ammunition for me. For my trusty 32. a runner off in the distance, but he can carry on doing his thing. I'm busy. Transcript from military transmission. Hunters were the bane of my hardcore series. Only got four episodes in. This just means you have to give it another shot, Tenorino. Dust yourself off. Get back on the horse. In a big firefight with the hunter right now. Make a habit disarming hunters and baiting them into jumping at me and ducking them. Turning and shooting in the back point blank with a shotgun. That is a good strategy right there, Del Rocco. And he states on the bug that all players travels to undiscovered locations. Uh, I don't know that one off the top of my head, Stefan. Is it something you've reported somewhere on our forums or uh, Steam? Where do you find an AR? We're being asked on Mixer. Uh, if you follow the mission chain, you should find one in the first bunker. It's on the table by the warboard. You would have seen me pick it up earlier in the stream. Yeah, that's a good good tactic there, Del Rocco. Pro tips. All right, I have to go back to the handgun for a bit. So you do need to mix and match your weapons in Generation Zero. It's not meant to be the kind of uh, you know hero shooter game where you can just run around as a one man army and forever you know have unlimited ammo. You do have to kind of. Be wise about what resources you use when. So now, well, again, when I'm back to dealing with mostly hunters in the area, I can probably switch back to my pistol. Sorry, hunters, runners. Hunters are the big scary ones that I would definitely use my assault rifle for. Oh, that's a nice hat. I like that one. But again, I already feel I created the perfect character. Ooh, that's a nice nice stock of ammunition. Sniper on the hill. I haven't got anything to do with that. I should have done that side mission to grab the hunting rifle. That was my bad. Lots of stuff down there. So this is where it's all going to get exciting now. And just in time for us to be wrapping up the stream in a minute. So we'll probably continue clearing out this. Well, actually, we won't continue next week because next week we we'll probably want to show you some of the stuff from the August update. Um, anyone have any extra munchies? Getting hungry or watching? Thanks, Mo. No, I'm hungry too. Uh, sadly, I'm really trying to get a video done so I can play No Man's Sky Beyond. 
I, I do enjoy that game actually. There, there's a great example of a game that had a little bit of a you know, rough launch and really turned into something great. It's a lot of fun. I too enjoy that one. In fact, maybe I might play that myself tonight now. <laughs> You've stuck the seed in my, in my mind. Maybe use boombox in houses instead of picking them up. Oh, as in the, oh, yeah, as in actually activating. Them. Speaking of jump attacks. I might have to yeah, I have to rethink this tactic. I was thought it was just one or two. I could have fought them, but now I might need to regroup and get a bit more tactical. Oh jeez. Where are you hiding out? That was tickly exploding. That one on the hill is still uh, still fancying its chances. Toro! That's uh, bullfighting a la runner. Oh, see you, Tenebri. Have a great one. Use either the shotgun or IRT in the Hunter, sometimes a 50 cal, but that's my last resort. I see. Yeah, good to use the big guns. Oh, no, I was lucky there. It blew up right next to me. Take my leave now and say good luck. Hope next year we get some good vibes. Uh, and thanks for the shirt. Again, you're welcome, Puffy. Glad you liked it. Uh, Sean, I saw your post about that on Discord. That, it too, does sound very interesting. I'll check it out. Uh, any news on the upcoming updates? Some 70% confirmed maybes. Hey, Biggers. Uh, stay tuned on Friday. Uh, Friday, we'll release uh, our next letter from the dev team. That's going to have some information about the August update. It's going to have a survey for you folks to fill out. And you can expect to see that on Discord, our social media. We'll probably share it to Steam. All the usual places. So keep your eyes open for that. And, of course, on our website. Uh, idea make the hacker poke turn the hacked machine into a static turret for 20 seconds. I see, so I mean, maybe it makes it so that it can't move, but it doubles its rate of fire or something. Like, you know, you adjust the power systems or something. Do you have a Discord server? We do indeed. Have I, have I put on the profile yet? I have not put on the profile. Um, it should be discord.gg forward slash generation zero. Uh, but just search Generation Zero. Uh, or if you have the game installed, Discord should pick it up actually and show you on the front page. Anyway, that about wraps it up for today. Again, uh, keep your eyes peeled for Friday. Letter from the dev team. A nice survey for you folks to fill out. And then um, next week's stream, I'm going to see if I can collar a dev to come speak to you folks. And I'd like to hopefully, hopefully, show you some of the stuff from the August update. But watch this space. Uh, you know, 50% 50, 50 chance of that. We have to see uh, wh where in development we are for the, the final August features. Might be a little bit too soon. Uh, but I'll let you know either way. Uh, thank you all for being here. It's been a lot of fun as always. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>